Hello everybody, my name is Doug and welcome to my channel of Vintage Boutique Cali. I hope you guys are doing great today. Um, I am here today to show you more jewelry and specifically all of this jewelry that you see in front of you is from Kelly of Dusty Leather and Lace on YouTube. And I wanted to do a reseller spotlight uh, for her and show you the kind of jewelry that you can get from her. She does sell jewelry on YouTube. She also has an eBay store, an Etsy shop, and a and a, um, a Poshmark store as well. So I will link all of those um, down below in the uh, in the description box. Um, but I just thought it would be kind of fun to go through and show you all this kind of stuff. Everything that you see here on this tray, uh, this is all vintage, or there are some uh, more contemporary pieces in here. But again, I wanted to show you everything that I did receive from her. And then I also received all these things. This is all sterling silver items. And so I wanted to show you those as well. So we'll go through them one at a time and go through and you can look at the beautiful jewelry with me. And um, again, if you don't mind, please subscribe to her channel and uh, visit her visit her store. So I think uh, what I will do first, I'm gonna set this uh, sterling over to the side and I am going to push this tray back and we're gonna go through um, one at a time and pull things out, okay? So uh, first thing I wanna do though, this card was in the box that she had sent and I absolutely love this uh, message, you are enough, because it seems like today uh, there's so many people that are trying to put each other down for one reason or another or they may be going through some tough times or they may have lost their confidence, whatever, but I think it's just a nice message uh, for people. So I thank you for that um, very much, Kelly. I'm gonna keep that card because yes, you are enough. Each one of us are enough. So I'm gonna leave that right here and we can look at it um, while we go through all the jewelry. So I'm gonna, again, go through one at a time. Again, most of the stuff that is in here is uh, uh, either vintage, um, some of them are marked, some of them are not. I have already gone through it and to, to look at the marks so I know what they are and I can kind of explain to you what they are as well. Um, here you have one of those mid-century um, shell bracelets. It's very cool. And this is what I find interesting. Look how small that is for a tiny wrist, but look how big it opens. And I have an eight inch wrist and that fits. Look how big that opens. So if you had a big wrist or a small wrist, either one would work really well for you. Um, so that's really a neat thing. I'll put that right there. Okay, um, here we have a set of similar, but not the same. Um, they're not matching. They do have a, uh, a bracelet that would go along uh, with these earrings, but this is multicolored where that one is all clear. These are marked Japan, but I will set this over there with those. Okay, let's see. Here we have another pair of earrings with deer on it. These actually are marked Sarah Coventry. Clip earrings. Here we have what looks to be like a pendant, okay, or a made pendant. So, looks like this has been repurposed. Um, this is like an old button or something that somebody has added a, that to it and then glued. The, I don't know if this is a, a broken pin or an earring before or something like that, but anyway, it's still pretty nonetheless. So I'll put that there. Sorry. This is a really neat pendant. It is a pendant watch. And this actually is a Joan Rivers. I don't know if you can read that or not. It's a Joan Rivers, but it would be on the end of a end of a, a chain. That was kind of cool. This is actually missing the glass to cover up the the watch or the hands. But um, it's a cool thing nonetheless. I'll pull 
pull this out of here. This is very cool. Look at that. Look at this inlay. I guess it's like Tibetan silver or something. It's, um, look at the inlay. I guess it's turquoise and coral. This is the back side. This is quite heavy. Look at the beads. You have glass beads. I don't know if that's coral or not. I could be, I would have to test it. And then you have the dark glass beads. You have the pearls there. Um, I'm not sure if that's real turquoise or faux turquoise, but again, I can test that as well. Here you have these really nice stone beads as well. You can see the clasp, but oh, that's a really neat piece. It's a very cool piece. Here we have, uh, this is a hinged bracelet. This one is actually missing the safety chain as well, but that can be easily put on. Open that up. You can see how it closes. That's pretty. Here we have a beautiful, beautiful brooch. Sparkles. And this is marked Austria, right there, you can see it. That's beautiful. Here we have a Schnauzer brooch, vintage, filigree on the outside. There you go, and this one says Western Germany, right there. It's a very cool brooch. Very neat. Here we have a pair of earrings. This is a um, beautiful crystal. I don't know if the, hopefully the shine is showing in the lights. And these are marked Bogoff, jewels by Bogoff, 1940s, 50s. You know, back in the day, Bogoff was, um, for many years, actually, they were the third largest costume jewelry company following Trafari and Coro. I have a few, I have, well, I'm not a few, I have several of their pieces. They're really pretty, nice stones. And again, these are screw back. Here we have a gold tone necklace. Look at that, how the stone is caged around it. That's really pretty. It's a very thick chain. And you can see the clasp right there. And it says Monet. Very cool. Here we have a beautiful brooch. Flowers inside Lucite. This is a very cool pin. Here we have a glass and crystal bracelet. A stretchy. Very pretty. 
here is another one. And this one has the, the rhinestones mag, uh, magnetic clasp. And this one, this one is not stretchy. This is a wire. Very pretty. Get it tangled up here on the hooks. Here we have a very pretty pendant necklace. You can see how it's cut on the back side. Very pretty. This has a spring ring clasp on it. That's cool. This is a small vintage pendant brooch. You got the blue glass rhinestones. They're all prong set in there. Then on the back side, you can see the right there for pendant or brooch, either one. This is a smaller piece. Here we have a pair of rhinestone earrings, not marked. I did put them on all these cards um, before recording the video, so that this way it's a lot easier for you to see the earrings instead of having to fumble around with them. But it's pretty. Let's look at, oh, and you know what? This is a pair of Marcel Boucher earrings. Gold tone, silver tone. They are marked B-O-U-C-H-E-R right there. Boucher is a French jeweler. He actually was an apprentice. He studied his apprenticeship underneath Pierre Cardin as well. But very pretty. Really nice earrings. I'll put that right there. Um, here's another pair of earrings. These are merino. Can you see merino? M A R I N O. Merino was a company that was started in the 30s and it continued on through the late 1970s. These are just plain kind of domed silver ovals. Let's go over. Here we have some. This is a set of three Monet bangles. You got the white enamel, the black enamel, and then the, the gold as well. All three of these are brand new. You can see the mark right here. They are marked Monet. It's a very nice set. Here we have a really fun, pretty set of listener. It's a double strand necklace. Very pretty. And there you have the tag right there. And then it's marked on the hook right there, listener.
That's fun. Very pretty. Here we have a, a vintage gold tone brooch with some blue rhinestones in them. I like how that's a 3D brooch. Like the saucer and the leaves. It's really pretty. It's in great shape. I just love all these vintage designs. Another pair of rhinestone earrings. Clip on. In great shape. Now here we have a pair of pierced earrings, post little frogs, gold tone, the green bodies, the little rhinestone eyes, and these are actually these are new. These are actually marked Avon. You can see it right, right there, Avon. That's fun too. A lot of earrings, but here's another fun pair. These are glass, glass owl beads. Very fun. I like that. I like that. Here we have another pair of clip-on earrings. This is a no name. These are not marked. Kelly, you have a lot of, a lot of fun, fun, beautiful jewelry. Thank you for sharing it with us. Here you have the Italian micro mosaic pair of earrings, silver. Or silver tone, I should say. You are enough. I want to keep that up there so people can see that. Uh, what do I want to show? Let's look at this guy. Here we have a really cool vintage thermoset bracelet. Some rhinestones in between on each link. You can see the back side. This is not marked. It's an excellent condition. Very pretty. Here we have a really nice jade necklace. And this has the, the barrel clasp. Very pretty. Very pretty. Here we have a beautiful necklace. And this has, you can look at the clasp. Look at that though. Those quartz, beautiful. It's a beautiful piece. I don't know if the camera is picking up how, how shiny it is. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Here is another pair of clip-on earrings. These are not marked. Very cool though. Oh. 
the stone came out and it's just needs to glued back in. A pair of unmarked earrings with the full pearls. Now this is a pair of, this is actually a vintage um, Marjorie Bear earrings. These are pierced and they are marked Bear SF, B-A-E-R, SF, that's Marjorie Bear in San Francisco. Um, her vintage stuff, and she still does stuff today. You can go to the, her website and, and look it up. Um, I think it's MarjorieBear.com. But anyway, her vintage stuff is all this mixed metal Kind of thing. I have a whole bunch of uh, Marjorie Bear pieces of jewelry. Um, I seem to get them quite a lot here, maybe because I'm in California and there's just a lot of them here, but it's a cool piece. Cool piece. It's a pair of gold leaf earrings. Clip on. It's in great shape. These are unmarked. Very pretty. Uh, what's this one over here? It's another pair of earrings. Vintage, you can see the rhinestones and the faux pearls. These are not marked. Very cool. I keep knocking my card over. Okay, here we have a more contemporary piece. This is actually a Lucky Brand. I actually like Lucky Brand. It's, um, can you see that? Yep, Lucky Brand. I have quite a few of their stuff. Their, their stuff is very well made. So you got the toggle clasp there. It's got the Lucky Charm. Here we have a Monet necklace. And you got the Monet in capital letters with the copyright. It's a very thick chain. It's in great shape. That's pretty. Here we have a another chain bracelet. It's another Monet piece, and this one has the Monet copyright at the beginning, and then capital letters M-O-N-E-T. Fold over clasp. Nice big chunky chain. This I think is kind of funny. So to look at this, you would think that this is like a, a, a sweater um, clip or something, but actually what it is, it's a pair of silver tone clip on earrings. And then somebody decided to put this gold tone pearl connector between the two. So all they did was connect them that way. So you got gold tone mixed with a silver tone, but you know, you can still use it for um, like a, a sweater clip or something like that. It's kind of fun. This is a fun, pretty cha-cha bracelet, the stretch bracelet. Nice beads. Then you have like sea, sea life. You have the coral, the starfish. There you have a fish with blue eyes and something blue in its mouth. So this is a fun bracelet. What else is on there? 
just a lot of fun. Check out this brooch. This is really pretty. This is the back side of it. I'm not sure how old this one is. I don't think it's really that old. I think it's one that's made, it's, it's one made to look old. Still pretty nonetheless though. Here we have another pair of uh, vintage earrings. Clip on, silver tone. There were no mark on it. Here we have another Monet gold tone bracelet. And this one has the, let's see if you can see the mark here. All right, there, copyright, and then Monet. Here we have just a gold tone bracelet. You see the back side of it? This is not old. It does have this larger spring ring clasp on it. Let's put it in my hand. There you go. Very pretty though. Here we have another pair of vintage clip-on earrings, faux pearls, gold tone. Uh, there were no, there was no name on this one. And two more, four more, I guess. This is a very pretty set of rhinestone earrings, silver tone. There's sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. This one, this is a Monet chain as well. This is, has the two-tone. This has the black and gold links to it. And let's take a look at the tag. This one, what's the mark on this one? If I can get it. It's a hang tag and it, I may not be able to get it, we'll see real quick. There you go. So it looks like the copyright and then the Monet afterwards. And the last two, oh no, there's one, one, two, three, that one, okay. We have three here. So the first one, let me set this over here. This first one is a really, really heavy, I mean, Heavy, heavy, heavy Monet. Where's the, maybe it's on this side. There it is. Okay, so there you can see the tag. Monet, this is a triple strand. But these beads are really heavy. I mean, they feel they're definitely solid metal, but they feel like, uh, like if you had glass or stones, it's, it's really, it's that heavy of a necklace. Um, it's kind of cool, but I, I just, that's a lot of weight, a lot of weight that you have in your chest. But anyway, it's a very pretty necklace nonetheless. Then we have, let's see, I love this piece too. This is Mother Pearl Shell uh, Cross. Isn't that pretty? It's 
It even has a shell seeds, the shell beads. A very cool necklace. Very neat. And last but not least, I think this one, this was one of the items that I won, I believe. Just a piece of fashion jewelry, but like I said, she has everything. She does true vintage, she does stones, she does contemporary, she does, you know, um, sterling silver, and we're, we're gonna get to the sterling silver in just a minute. But this is just a nice little necklace and earring set. And then we're going to get to the sterling pieces for people who like sterling. I'll set that right here. First thing we have is a really cool, it's a fun little, little boy with his little pencil. This is a pendant brooch, and it is marked Mexico, 925, 92, right there, that's neat. Here we have, now this is a rosary. This is a brand new rosary. Okay, now this is by Creed, C-R-E-D. Um, it says sterling right there. There you have that pendant. The, the pendant itself, this piece is sterling silver, but the rest of it is not sterling. The, the chain is not, and this is not. So um, this rosary, but it's really pretty. And it says, made in Italy. And it says, America needs Fatima. I did not know what that really meant. And I Googled it, and I guess it's a, it's a movement. It's a movement for America. But beautiful, beautiful blue beads. And that is the Creed, C-R-E-E-D, you can Google it. Okay, the next thing we have, this is a beautiful brooch here. This is gold over sterling. You got two rhinestones here. It's very pretty. And this is a big brooch. You can see how it's the back of it. And when I open up the clasp, you can see the clasp right there. It's a show you what it says. This is Vandell, V-A-N-D-E-L-L. -L. If you can read that, let's see. Am I doing it upside down? It was, it was upside down. Right here, there's a little cartouche and it says, Bring it in. Come on. There you go. It says Vandell, 120th 12 karat gold filled on sterling. It's very pretty. This is from the 1950s. This is the fun piece. This is an owl pendant, mother of pearl abalone. Look at the back side. And then this, this is a lobster claw clasp and right, you won't be able to see it, I don't think, but right there on the clasp, it says 925 Italy. That's pretty though. I like that, how it shines like that. 
This is a Tosco sterling silver piece. All the dolphins, porpoises, jumping the wave. One, two, three, four, five dolphins jumping over the wave. On the back side, there's the marking right there. That's cool. Here's another piece. This is a really neat pendant. Cultivate. Cultivate the earth. It's very cool. Now this one, it has some initials down there. MC, uh, MCA, or, no, I'm sorry, it's MCP right there. But I cannot make what that is right there because it's half on and half off. I actually looked at this up underneath the microscope and you couldn't even make it out either because it's just a really bad stamp. But anyway, that's a really cool um, pendant, I think. Okay, got a couple brooches here. Vintage brooches. Now this is a, look at that. Sterling silver. Abalone inlay. I'm not sure what the blue is. My first reaction was maybe it's lapis, but I don't think it is. I'm not sure what that is, but it's pretty nonetheless. Then when I flip this one over, you can see the marking. And it says, let's see here. Let's get it closer for you. X-O-L-A. Then it says 925. Sterling, and then right here in the middle, it has A. Garcia, 925, and then Tosco, MEX for Mexico. That's a pendant brooch. That's pretty. Here we have another one of these Tosco pendant brooches. This one is a little bit different. What's the marking say on here? Let's go out a little bit. Can you see that? Across the top arch, it says M-O Campo, C-A-M-P-O, 925 in the middle. And on the bottom, it says Tosco M-E-X, Mexico. Again, abalone inlay, pretty pretty. Then, the last pieces that I wanna show you, this is actually a set. Very, very pretty. I actually wanna show this on, well, I'll put it on my hand. This is the bracelet. This has not been cleaned, so it is the patina, everything is on it. But this is an old vintage um, filigree cameo. Um, this is a bracelet. And then I've got the matching necklace here. I'll show you that in a second. But this is actually marked, um, what was that marked? Oh, GM, uh, Giuliano Fratti. He actually was a, an Italian designer how beautiful that is you should google him Giuliani Fratti F-R-A-T-T-I he actually produced pieces for Christian Dior Chanel back in the 1950s and then in the 60s he ended up doing stuff for um, Pierre Cardin Let's see if you can see the mark. There's the mark right there. Such a pretty piece. I was hoping that these uh, stones would be blue topaz, but they are just glass. Very, very pretty. So I'm gonna 
put that down and let you see the necklace. Get the cameo, back sign. So you got the set. Bracelet and necklace. Again, this has not been cleaned. Could use a little bit of a cleaning. The necklace here has this nice little slide in box clasp. It's very cool. So anyway, such beautiful pieces. I think everything is beautiful. So there you have the sterling pieces, silver pieces. And here you have all your nice, fun costume pieces. So anyway, I think you um, will have a good idea now of the kind of jewelry that you are able to purchase from Kelly. Um, please go to her YouTube channel, Dusty Leather and Lace. I will put the link to it below. And please subscribe to her channel. Also check out her eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark stores. I'll link those down as well. Um, she does sell, she's been selling on those platforms for quite a long time. She does a lot of clothing, um, collectibles, some hard goods as well. And, and, and she also, she's also doing jewelry now. But um, as you can tell, she has a very wide collection, but um, watch for her auctions um, on our channel and tell her that you saw this video and that I sent you. All right. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful night and remember you are enough. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.